Hey, I'm Mike Oz from Yahoo Sports. This is Meta World Peace, and we are not gonna open some old baseball cards. We're gonna open these. I mean, the best leadoff hitter of all time. My God, you have a Randy Johnson. Sean Green. Green. Owned me. Oh, crap. Deion ah. Sanders. Look at this jacket. I want this jacket. I'm giving you a lot. I'm giving you my brother. All right, man, so usually on this show, we open old baseball cards. Yes. You presented a unique opportunity. I've been wanting to open some Yo! MTV Raps cards. Yes. I know you know hip-hop. I've been wanting to open some old basketball cards. Obviously, you played basketball. So, we're gonna open some Skybox. We're gonna open some Yo! MTV Raps. This brings me back. First of all, though, you, you, you did both of these things, and do they both factor into your new book? Yeah, music factors in with the whole lifestyle and the environment, then you know, Nas, Mob Deep, MC Shan, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Then basketball, Vernon Fleming, Sean Green, and the, the philanthropic side with Hank Carter, and then you know, uh, New York Knicks, Chicago Bulls. I'm like into it. I can't wait. <laughs> the book yeah. is out now. The book is out, and uh, it's called No Malice. And that title has a lot to do with the brawl that happened. But the book is not only about the brawl; it's about my whole life up until right now. I also thought No Malice would be a good title for a Pusha T solo album. Yeah, yeah, Hip-hop yeah, joke, yeah. hip-hop joke. Um, <laughs> Pusha T. Did you collect, uh, you collect basketball cards? Um, I did when I was a young kid. Okay. So you're about the same age as me, so this is probably like, you're like 12, 13 years old. This is like Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley. It's crazy. Prime time for basketball. So I'm gonna give you these, I'm gonna let you open these. Okay. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the rap cards after, and then we'll see if we can make a good uh, rap to, to basketball trade. Okay, let's do it, let's, let's see do it. See what you got, yeah. man. There you go, old school style. Oh, there you go. And I have to know, these cards are never. like the most 90s looking things you've never ever been seen. opened. Never been opened. They are from when I was a kid. Hmm. It's sitting in my garage. Wow. So oh. You got tons of packs in your... I got, I got a full box of those. Wow. So here you go, Dominique. In the suits. This is pretty impressive. GQ. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tyrone Hill. Tyrone Hill. Gary Payton. I like the okay. I like the I like the little uh, the little design on the. On I the know, Gary right? Pages. Look at the graphics. <laughs> look Old look school. on the the back of these. Also have sometimes they have cool. But no, that one doesn't. But sometimes they have funny pictures on the back. So this too. is crazy because this is a 1990. Must have been his rookie year. Cause he's only averaging seven points. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Good career ahead. Sherman Douglas. Wow. I remember that guy. So he was averaging 18. So he was a really good player. It's amazing. You don't, you don't respect these guys, these guys until you see him. Tim Hardaway, 1990, averaging 22. Ooh, Tim, and and ooh, Tim Hardaway, for, for our younger viewers, not Tim Hardaway the son, Tim Hardaway the, the dad, like run TMC Tim Hardaway. And they're both pretty, his son's gonna be pretty good. His son's gonna average 21 one of these times. That's a cool cool picture on the back too. He's like riding the uh, the trolley car in San Francisco yeah, looks San like. Fran. Yep. So D Brown. I remember oh, the, I remember the dunk. Man. This is definitely the dunk highlight. Did that, that happened in 1990, huh? Was it? That's what, 1991? Yeah, right. Derek Harper, I'm, I wanna see these stats. <laughs> For 19, oh, Derek getting in that work. He was a good player. Who's Ramil Robinson? I heard of this guy. Yeah, I don't know him. He must be from New York, cause I heard of his name. Five points. He looks like a prom picture on the back though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> There's a Nick. Who is this? Kenny Walker, the dunker. Yeah. Which is Skywalker? That they do? Skywalker. There you go. Seven points. Okay, he was he could jump so high. He got like the uh, leather jacket on on the back. He, he had swag yeah. before. So he was like he was like Swaggy P. <laughs> I top fade in the the line. My favorite two cards in here is Gary Payton and Walker. Okay. I'm already just thinking about trades. That's my favorite. Think about making a deal here. I know. Okay. I know you're you're an entrepreneur now, right? Okay. So all right, let's see what I got. And first, actually, you know, before we do this, we got to set this up for people who don't know. Yeah, let's set it up. You're from Queens. From Queens. For people who don't know hip hop, Queens is like. One of the breeding grounds, like for, for some of the, the best hip hop artists of all time. Yeah. Nas, Mob yeah. Deep. M MC Shan. MC Shan. What, what age were you at that point? Like uh, when Mob Deep and Nas were coming up? Because that's. When they were coming up, I honestly didn't know, man. I, I, it just caught me by surprise. I didn't know what was going on in my neighborhood. I was a kid, and apparently these guys were really good artists and rappers. And wow, what, what is even a rapper, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then these guys, I was like 12, 13 when they started to really take off. Okay. 1992. Okay. These are, these are 91, so I've actually never opened a pack of these, so I don't know exactly what's in here. This is crazy. I but um, I, I, like, I don't think we're gonna have... I don't think Nas and Mob Deep is Nah, my, my era of hip-hop is probably the same as yours, so like, yeah, yeah. this is probably gonna predate a little bit of us, but... Roxanne, Shantae, MC Shane? Maybe, maybe, yeah, let's see. So, right off the jump, we got a, a instant winner rules thing. We could uh, we could win a trip to New York City okay. to be on Yo! MTV Rap. This is crazy, let's, let's do Let's this. do that. Yeah, oh, oh. 
Yeah, let's make sure we hit them up. Right off the jump, we got MC Hammer in the MC Hammer. Oh, in the in the suit. He has the 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 Hammer pants. Hammer, wow, superstar. So when Hammer was a superstar, I live, I'm from the Bay. I live up. In, I live. Came up in a city called Fremont. Fremont. Hammer, Hammer, even before he was a superstar, like he lived in, he had a condo in Fremont. So Hammer was sort of like our dude. And then he moved in that big house up in the hills. When we were kids, it'd be like, oh, let's drive up to Hammer's house and just sit outside the gates and be like, oh, that's where Hammer lives. Wow. Yeah. LL. LL, superstar. Let's meet there the guy LL. James Todd, Mama Said Knock You Out, donated his prized Kango and gold chain to the Hard Rock. <laughs> prized Kango. Nice. Label Def Jam. Public Enemy, of course. I mean, one of the enemy. best groups oh. of all time, of course. Is that Flavor Flav? Flavor Flav, I mean, he has to be, right? I don't see him. He doesn't he, have the big clock. Is he pub, Public Enemy? He, yeah, he is. I mean, he's in Public Enemy. Def he's right Jam. there. He's on the back. Oh, he's on the back. Right, right, right. Def yeah. Jam, okay. Chuck D. Run DMC. There we go. Everybody okay. knows Run DMC. You know, Everybody knows Run DMC. Gold card. Give these guys a gold <laughs> card. Profile records. Wow, that must have been their own label. I don't know what that was. That was a that was a, a, a not huge hip hop label, but they were on Def Jam at one point. So I think obviously. maybe after this they were on yeah. Def Jam. Yeah. I mean, this and, is a little bit after their time too, because they were they were hot in the '80s. So hmm. this might be this might have been like yeah, after after maybe they signed a good deal with somebody. Belle Bib DeVoe. Okay. Totally slept on. Yeah, I, I feel a, like a really nice card too. I feel like people think Belle Bib DeVoe is like a one hit wonder because of Poison, but man, Belle Bib DeVoe had some jams. They, they they had some jams. I mean, I wasn't really into it. Because who, who were they before Bell Biff DeVoe? They New Edition. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's hard to outdo New Edition. Bobby you know? Brown and Rob Bell Biff DeVoe did okay. Digital Underground. Digital Underground. I wonder if Tupac's on here. Probably not. Was he a part? He, 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 was, was, a, part. he was a dancer for Digital Underground. No, don't tell me that. He was? That's how he no. got started. Tupac started as a dancer for Digital Underground. Uh, why, have, why haven't I ever heard this story? Google it, man. Look it up. I am going to Google true. it. True. First song Tupac rapped on that I knew of was a Digital Underground song, that same song. But he was, yeah, he was Digital Underground. They, they kind of brought Tupac to us. Do you know Fat Five Freddy? I heard the name. I don't know the music though. Fat, Fat Five Freddy was the he was the host of UMP Raps. So he right. was like the dude in the streets, like it's Fat Five Freddy with a report from whatever, and he'll tell you about LL Cool J's walking with a panther or whatever, you know. I think that was the fun part. It was the fun part. I got MC Hammer. I got LL Cool J. Yeah. I got Public Enemy. I got Run DMC. Ah. Some really nice cars. <laughs> I, I I'm very interested in Tim Hardaway. You interested in Tim Hardaway? Uh, do you? Hmm. I, I, but I feel like LL Cool J for Tim Hardaway is a little. You know, LL for Tim Hardaway. Uh, wait, that's a little you're, much. You're getting you're getting too much out of that. Hold on. I mean, LL was a great in his genre, and Tim was probably not as great as LL in, in his genre. All right, right. So how about this? How about but this? Tim was a really good player. I'll let you so. keep Kenny Walker. I want Gary Payton and Tim Hardaway. You want to know something for who? Oh, well, see, let's see what we got. I can give you. So you Gary, Gary Payton, Payton and Tim Hardaway both have Bay Area connection, right? LL Cool J is, is your neck of the woods. Gary Payton and Tim Hardaway. Um, I'll, I could give you LL and Public Enemy. I can give you LL and Run DMC. Uh, I don't know if I can give you all three of those, but I give you. Hmm. These, uh, these, two, these two, these two, two legends right here. That's, Hall of yeah, Famers. That's a, Gary Payton, Gary Payton Hall of Famer. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. They okay. Both Hall of Famers. Is Tim Hardaway Hall of Famer. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know my basketball Hall of Fame too. Oh, much. they both Hall of Famers. Okay, they're both Hall of Famers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it if you do it. All right, cool. All right. I'm good with that one. I think that's a good trade. That's a good trade because I like I like I like Walker and Hopper. Mm. And then you got then you got LL. You know, you just, LL. You, you just all around. So if I can get these signed, that'd be pretty cool, huh? Good man. I'm coming for y'all. <laughs> Go I'm fight LL. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dope. Metal World Peace. That was great, man. That Appreciate was fun, it. man.